around 4.6 billion years ago, our planet started its existence. An existence that would bring many important events. These events were the turning points that helped shape the Earth and made it what it is today. 4.6 billion years ago, our planet was born. It grew from a cloud of dust and rocks surrounding our young sun. These rocks joined together and became so massive that it attracted other rocks using the force of gravity, eventually becoming Earth. It is thought that soon after the moon was formed, when a planetary sized object smashed into the Earth, creating debris that eventually condensed into the moon. Between the formation of Earth and 3.5 billion years ago, scientists think life began. The oldest confirmed fossils of single-celled microorganisms are around 3.5 billion years old. However, nobody knows where the first organisms started or what they looked like. But around 2 billion years ago, some of these simple cells became complex. They evolved and became eukaryotes, developing special traits within their cells. Every animal and plant you've ever seen is a eukaryote. Around 1 billion years ago, single cells joined up and formed larger organisms, with features like mouths, limbs and sense organs. Different groups of organisms probably evolved multicellularity independently, with plants managing it before animals. Five hundred and thirty-five million years ago, evolution took a giant leap in the Cambrian explosion. It seems almost every group of modern animals appeared within tens of millions of years. Then, 489 million years ago, each animal group expanded in the Great Ordovician Biodiversification Event. Around 465 million years ago, an amazing event occurred life began to leave the sea. Plants were the first to take up permanent residence on land. They were the relatives of green algae to start with, but rapidly diversified to adapt to its new environment. Then, around 400 million years ago, animals started to make the move from water to, at this point, a land that was well established by plants. 220 million years ago, dinosaurs were spreading across the planet. But in the cover of night, small mammals evolved. Early mammals such as the Morganucodon were small and shrew-like, and probably only active at night. Their ancestors were reptiles called cynodonts, and their nightlife may have been the reason why they evolved warm blood, to keep their blood temperature constant. 201 million years ago was the start of the end for the dinosaurs. At this point they had flourished across the planet, but the next major disaster would strike. Over 80% of the species were wiped out in the Jurassic extinction. No one knows what caused the mass extinction event, but it didn't end there. In the aftermath, dinosaurs on the land became the dominant animals, growing to colossal sizes over millions of years. But as we all know, 65 million years ago, a huge rock from outer space smashed into the Earth. The initial strike was devastating, but the long-term effects slowly wiped out the dinosaurs. 130 million years ago was one of the most interesting milestones for the Earth's history. Plants began to flower. Believe it or not, but flowers are a very recent invention of plants. These flowering plants only appeared in the middle of the dinosaur era. The equally familiar grasses appeared even more recently. The oldest fossil grasses are just 70 million years old. About 25 million years ago, the most important event that relates mainly to you happened. The first apes appeared in Africa. Then these original apes split into the ancestors of modern humans and the ancestors of modern apes. Between 13 and 7 million years ago, the oldest known hominids arose. And from that point, hominids eventually became modern man. So there's planet Earth's main events, all within 4.6 billion years. There are many more amazing events within the history of Earth that helped shape the planet we see today, and I have no doubt there will be many more in the future, if only we could be around to see them. I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.